What's the crack, lads? We are back. It is Italian League Midfielders Monday. And of course, these are all in a player pack here, as you see. 900 spin. You can actually get these guys if you have a bit of luck. But it depends, man. It depends if you are going to go for these players or not. This is a double pack from OC. He sent me this video early. He got it in one 10 pack spin. Let me know if you've had similar luck or let me know if you've had no luck at all. I mean, I'm tempted to go for it, but we'll see later on in the live stream. Let's see, because they are good players, but I don't think that they're going to be game-changing players uh, in terms of the squad I already have. But we are going to start with these players here, uh, which are in the selection. I'm going to leave all of these up on the screen after the three big boys. So we have Labatka. I think Rabio is also a good choice. We'll have the builds up here at the end of the video. And then we'll show you Nedved, Davids and Albertini, which is probably the best way of doing it. But all eyes are going to be focused on Albertini, Nedved and Davids. Now, I'm going to hide my screen here because uh, it's going to get in the way of um, the stats and the booster and stuff. But Albertini, lads, is definitely one that, even though he's an orchestrator, I feel like he's a small bit of a hidden gem type card because of so much stuff going for him. Now, let me explain, right? First things first, he's got one touch pass, first time shot, long range shooting, long range curve, rising shot, weighted pass, and he's got fighting spirit. The only thing he doesn't really have is any dribbling skills. Obviously, as an orchestrator DMF, that's not really much of a concern. But he also doesn't have what I consider one of the most important skills for any passing midfielder, which is true passing, or else low lofted. So the fact he doesn't have the two of those, it is a bit of a bust. It is a bit of an annoying one because obviously, you know, these players... They're going to be wrestling if you are spinning. Chances are you already have a really good DMF or CMF that you're... you're it's going to take a lot to get rid of Rijkaard or get rid of Pirlo or get rid of De Jong or whoever you have actually playing here, um, especially if you're looking to, you know, for a pass or whatever. Um, but it's a nice card. Obviously, we'll show you with the booster there as well. Um, it's got a technique plus two. It's a good card. I mean, his dribbling stat is very, very poor, even though it gets a booster. But the rest of his stats are quite decent as well. We'll show you his build here in a second towards the end of the video. We also have Nedved. I think Nedved is definitely going to be the pick of these. Davids has a couple of, yeah, a couple of frailties that we're going to have a look at in a second. But Nedved, I think, is the best bang for your buck. He's the hard worker plus two effect. That's going to give his booster a big lift. He's got long range curler, dip and shot, rising shot, long range shooting acrobatic finishing he doesn't have one touch pass he actually doesn't have fighting spirit this is more of a technical nedved that's got really high dribbling really good finishing really good passing and acceleration and balance to boot as well as having that speed and stamina so it's kind of like a hybrid between his best defensive card he still has that 75 aggression but for the build we're going to show you it's going to be an attack and midfielder version of nedved we're going to go with that's kind of where i think you need to go with this guy because he's a whole player a lot of people will try and shoehorn Nedved into kind of like a ball winning player. Listen, Messi with the way the game plays at the moment, Neymar, Pedri, they can all win the ball clean for you like prime Roy Keane, okay? But if you're looking to get the best out of these players, don't try and make them into something that they're not. I'm still working on my video for the stats and the boosts and how to train these guys. But for now, I'm trying to give you a few little tips on how to train these guys uh, effectively to get the most out of them, especially for tight possession. I think it's a huge stat now. Balance is a huge stat now as well for retaining the ball, especially if you play a bit of possession. But Nevid is quite decent. You're going to have to do a bit of work on him. Definitely one touch pass for any player that's going to be on the ball. Even a couple of passes of possession, you 100% need one touch pass. But he does have true pass and a way to pass. He also has outside curler, a couple of shooting skills as well. Probably throw double touch on him just to kind of free up a little bit of movement on him. But it's a nice, it's a nice card, especially with how we train him. And then last but not least, we have Davids. So Davids is going to be a card I think that is going to be essentially Makalele. That is kind of what you're looking for here. He's a destroyer. He's down. He's got the glasses. A lot of people will obviously want to spin for him. I'm tempted of all the players here, even though I have Makalele, Rijkaard, Vieira. I am tempted to go for Davids. Davids was a really, really nice player back in the day uh, in Pez. I've had another version of his card. He's a really good defensive destroyer, which I like. Just a guy, I call him the groundskeeper Willie cards. They just mop up every mess. That is where you need to go with a lot of these cards. You don't need him to be a big blocker or a big body in midfield. You just need to have him as an outlet when you're defending and obviously chase down artists. That is what he needs to be. Chasing, disrupting, destroying everybody. 
soul control he has that from the rip interception blocker sliding tackle acrobatic clearance and fighting spirit man marking and knuckle shot but marseille turn and track back interception and blocker the two big ones obviously no passing skills his passing stats are quite poor for a destroyer um because even makalele has got fairly basic you know 80 plus in the low pass but you can train that up quite effectively speed acceleration we'll do a proper review on Davids, I think he's going to be the him and Nevid are going to be the two main boys. We're going to show you how he compares in the live stream if you want to check that out to Makalele. Okay, and we'll get some gameplay going as well. The rest of the pack here, lads, we'll just show you the training guides. Labaka is obviously going to be a player that probably stands out. It's not the best version of Labaka, it's not the worst version of him. He has double touch and soul control off the rip. You give him flip flap, you've got a DMF orchestrator that has got ball roll that can free up a lot of dribbles and possessions for you and get you out of tight spots but yeah the rest of the pack i'm just going to show you the bills so moving on to that we will here show you labaka i'm not going to spend too long on this because i want to talk about the three main boys labaka goes 35 levels there's his build down there uh four six nine nine two twelve uh starting with passing and finishing with defending we also have rabio here as well uh pretty much a very standard uh card and a very standard kind of build uh, for this card you know he's going to have mid 80s with the manager boost he's going to have mid 80s uh to high 80s with pretty much every stat uh and all of these cards here baldinzi Bal baldanzi this guy is actually really good this guy kind of reminds me of dibala uh he's got really good passing dribbling everything speed acceleration balance type possession perfect uh everything is in the 90s for his dribbling stats his low pass is nearly at 90 as well with pepper alonso or clap of course very very nice card you also have aslani here as well as a dmf again kind of all these cards now lads they go halfway but kanami are balancing them a lot better than they used to the rune here as well will show you his build you can just pause this video at any stage papa gomez there as well you've got Pereira. And, of course, you have Frendrup there as well. Now, we are going to start with Albertini, right? So this is the build that we've gone for for Albertini and that I, I definitely think is the best. 8 into passing and dribbling, 9 into dex, and then 11 into lower body with 6 into defending. As an orchestrator, you can play around with that defending stat. Honestly, I feel like that that is kind of a wasted stat on him because an orchestrator DMF... If you are playing him for defensive duties, you are going to be let down. Unless it's De Jong or, el or else it's somebody that you're really used to playing with that has got really high defense. I feel like that a lot of people can win the ball back now anyway. If you're using a DMF orchestrator, you definitely need to have an anchorman beside him or a double pivot of a destroyer to be able to win the ball back. Because his aggression is too low, his tackling is too low. When you come up against the big boys, Rijkaard and Vieira... They'll just completely dominate him. Um, acceleration is really nice. Balance is really nice. We've kind of gone for an attack and build version of him here as an orchestrator. Kind of like Kevin De Bruyne or De Jong pushed up a little bit. But that is the build there. We also have Davids. So we've made a very simplified version of Davids here. 5 into dribbling, 6 into dex, 10 into lower body and 14 into defending. If you don't want Davids this high with the defending, you can actually tweak it. But you're still going to be getting the balance, the acceleration and the speed. I don't play that much ball with these kind of guys. You know, Davids, Makalele, Kante. They have one job, and it's to win the ball back and get rid of it to your pacey players or else your technical players. I don't need to run the length of the pitch, touch and go with Davids. I don't need his tight possession and low pass and dribbling all the way up. You're not going to get the dribbling much higher. You're going to have to put 10 into dribbling to get it to 80. So it's not really worth it. I would say really boost up his defense. This guy is going to be tenacious in the tackling. He's got blocker, interception. It's a fantastic card. I definitely think that's the way you should go with it. Yes, you can train this a little bit differently and take it maybe back two and then pop six into passing. And of course, you could go that route as well. But that depends on your play style and depends on how good you are at the game. And then last but not least, we have whole player Nedved. So this player actually excites me when you look at his build here. Forget about his defense for the time being. We're going to plonk Nedved in the attack and midfielder role. And just have him as kind of like a hard working, really physical, very fast, very mobile, very versatile attacking midfielder. That is really essentially masquerading as an attacking midfielder, as a CMF. He's got 74 aggression. That's going to get a boost. Obviously, all the stats will get a manager boost. It's a nice card. It is actually a really nice card. Low pass, dribbling, um, speed, acceleration. They're all going to be kind of towards the 90 with balance and stamina. And he can finish. I mean, he's got 83 finishing there off the rip with level 1 without any boosters, you know. So it's definitely a good card. But that is it for me, lads. I'll be back on live stream later. And we will be spinning, I think, if you guys want. Let me know if you've spun or if you're going to skip. And I will talk to you in a bit. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe.